Northern Quebec is one of the last great wilderness areas of North America. It is as large as Western Europe and has remained almost untouched since the white man arrived 300 years ago. But now the native people and the white man are in competition for this land. The Cree Indian and Inuit people have hunted here for at least 3,000 years. But under the James Bay hydroelectric project, dams, reservoirs, roads and airports are to be built in their hunting grounds. From September to June each year, Cree Indians spread out through the forest of the James Bay region, as they have always done in dozens of hunting camps. One group of these Indians lives in the settlement of Mistassini, a summer meeting place where they now have permanent houses. In September 1972, two-thirds of the Mistassini families fly north from their village into the wilderness, where for the next six months they will live off the animals they can catch. The most important of these animals for fur and meat is the beaver, but they depend on all the animals of the forest, the birds and the fish. The leader of one group is Sam Blacksmith. His territory covers an area of 1,200 square miles. Sam has invited two other families to hunt with him on his land. Ronnie Jolly's land lies about 30 miles north of this camp. He hasn't hunted on it for two years, so that the animals there may replenish. And the third hunter is Abram Voyageur. Like some Mustassini hunters, he does not have a territory of his own. Because of the threat created by the white man's interest in the north, and in particular the power dams now being built, Sam Blacksmith agreed to allow a film crew to visit his camp to show outsiders the reality and quality of the Indian life. It was the first time Sam had ever had white people staying on his territory. I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I